Back from the brink, Fukushima six years on. On Friday, March 11, 2011, the Great East Japan earthquake rocked the eastern coast of Honshu, Japan's biggest and most populous island. The 90 magnitude earthquake lasted three minutes. The tsunami that followed affected many coastal towns, destroying millions of buildings and claiming about 19,000 lives. It also disabled the power supply and cooling of three reactors in the Fukushima Daiichi power plant, causing all three cores to largely melt within the first three days. Six years later, the prefecture is bouncing back from one of the world's major nuclear incidents, becoming an example of human resilience and optimism in the face of adversity. The Fukushima Daiichi incident is only the second nuclear crisis to be given a 7 rating on the Innis scale, the highest level on the international scale used to measure nuclear accidents. The only other disaster to receive the same rating was the 1986 Chernobyl incident in Ukraine. Despite the equal rating, the effects of the Fukushima accident is generally believed to be less severe. Fukushima released about one-tenth the amount of radioactive material than Chernobyl. Much of Fukushima's release material dissipated over water, in contrast to Chernobyl, whose lack of a containment structure allowed radiation to escape freely. The World Health Organization even made an official statement saying that there was little health risk outside the 18-mile evacuation zone. The Fukushima incident didn't just affect urban areas, it affected wildlife as well. Population declines and physical effects in certain species have been observed, though some butterflies seemed to be gaining resistance to radiation. The rest of Fukushima's wilderness seems to be following suit. Japan's forestry agency said that radiation levels have declined and that it will allow logging in the prefecture once again with each tree checked for radiation before being shipped. Outdoor exploration is also encouraged, with places such as popular skiing and hiking spot Mount Adidara, an active volcano, offering beautiful sights. After the incident, the Japanese government made sure to clear out all the soil that tested high for levels of radiation. All contaminated soil was transferred to an interim storage site, a massive temporary holding site in Okuma in the Fukushima prefecture that can hold about 50,000 cubic meters of soil. All contaminated soil is set to be removed for final disposal by March 2045. Robotic technology is also being used and developed to help with the cleanup. The Fukushima incident has become a model for how similar incidents might be handled. The Fukushima Agricultural Technological Center houses a food radiation testing facility where all produce is tested before being sent to market. This includes rice, one of its biggest exports. Each bag of rice is checked before shipment with bags that pass getting certification labels to prove their safety. 53.13 million bags of rice have been checked for radiation between 2012 and 2016, with zero bags of rice exceeding radioactive limit found between 2014 and 2016. In 2016, Rice from Fukushima went on sale in London for the first time since the incident. Malaysia has likewise allowed an increased importation of rice from the prefecture. Just this month, the EU lifted its ban on rice and other foodstuffs such as seafood from the region. Japan's culture and traditions are a source of fascination for both foreigners and the Japanese themselves. 
There are festivals that celebrate traditional arts and crafts, such as taiko drumming. There are also whole towns where visitors can step back in time. Aokijuku in the Towaku region is a living example of a post town where samurai went to buy food and supplies. Established around 1640 in the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, the great part about Aokijuku is that it has been preserved in order to give visitors a glance of what it would have been like during the height of the samurai era. There are regional specialties available like fish grilled in a sunken hearth, soba, buckwheat, noodles eaten with a scallion, and sweet potato and rice cakes. Aokijuku is a popular tourist spot, seeing about 1.2 million visitors annually. The magnitude of the Fukushima incident affected the Japanese consciousness so much that steps have been taken not only to ensure that the area is totally radiation-free, but also to instill in the next generation the importance of making sure that it doesn't happen again. The Futuba Future High School is known for a curriculum that encourages creativity and self-motivation. The school's motto, Be an Innovator came about because of what happened in 2011. Students are taught sciences, arts, sports, and community engagement. This focus on education ensures that there are lesser chances of such an incident happening again, and should Mother Nature beat the odds, that the future Japanese people will respond even faster, and their communities thrive even more. Find out how Fukushima has fared six years on, through the, the eyes of three influencers on Discovery Channel's Fukushima Diaries.